We continue our 2022 up north road trip today, traveling from Superior to Land Lakes, Wisconsin. We're crossing the St. Louis Bay of Lake Superior, crossing back into Wisconsin from the Minnesota side. left we see Minnesota Point and Lake Superior beyond. We cut through the port area of Superior on Highway 53, which will connect with Highway 2. off the car and boat tanks with this super cheap 438 gas. Back on the road again, heading east. Up ahead is the split where Highway 2 and 53 depart. Take exit 222 on the left. We'll stay left to continue on Highway 2, while the rest of the party will take 53 south to head back home to southeastern Wisconsin. Continue for 48 miles. It's mostly a continuous drive through. Oh, nice tractor rig. It's a continuous drive through the north woods and farms broken up along the way by small towns, such as this town of Brule. The town of about 600 folks isn't very big, but there are numerous opportunities for outdoor recreation, such as hiking, camping, fishing, as it's surrounded by the 47,000 acre Brule River State Forest. It's also very popular for snowmobiling in the winter. Iron River, Wisconsin. This town is a bit bigger than Brule, with about 1,100 folks. I have to say I like the drive through this town better than Brule, as it has that small old town Main Street feel. Well, look, Uncle Bob's bowling and Henny Penny Chicken off to the right, and Liquor in the Wood Saloon is up on the left. Look, you got a farm stand off to the right. Sweet corn. And they got a family dollar. I'll be darned. My favorite part of this town, and what I've been looking forward to for hours, is a chili dog and a root beer at this A&W. No dine-in, just a walk-up counter and car service. I'll scooch to the back here and head up to the walk-up counter. See you in a bit. Back on the road, Ashland is about 27 miles.
Approaching Ashland. Ashland is more of a city compared to the other small towns along Highway 2. Population is around 8,000 folks. The city has a long history. Starting back with the Ojibwe Indians inhabiting this area, followed by fur traders, and eventually became a huge shipping hub for iron ore and timber. Today, Many manufacturing businesses still flourish, but tourism is now a huge part of the city's economy. I know I know we're on a tight schedule to get to Land Lakes, but you can't drive through Ashland without stopping to see the bay and the lighthouse. Very nice. About five miles east of Ashland, we travel through the Bad River Indian Reservation, home of the Bad River Band of the Lake Superior Chippewa. It's a 190 square mile area extending from Lake Superior down to Copper Falls State Park. And we cross the Bad River here, which flows northward into Lake Superior. The most notable property on a reservation is the Bad River Lodge and Casino. Folks come from all around to stay here and try their luck on the tables and the slots. The rest of the reservation is all forest and swamps. Enter Iron County, Wisconsin, which, like a lot of the area in the northern Wisconsin, Minnesota, and the UP, has a rich mining history. Its county seat is Hurley, Wisconsin, which has quite a historical reputation. I won't get into any details. At the roundabout, we can take the scenic route via 51 South through Hurley or to Vilas County, but we have a tight schedule to keep, so we continue on Highway 2 through part of Michigan's UP. Welcome to Michigan. Ironwood, Michigan also has some history dating back to the mining days, as being a major mining town. Today it's known for its recreation, including several ski slopes. On this route we bypass the downtown area, as we're on a tight schedule. We need to get to the Land of Lakes area before sundown to unload and get the boat in the water. I promise we'll come back to this area to explore both Hurley and Ironwood. In the surrounding area, oh, European car sales and service. You can take your foreign job there for repairs. Excellent. And they got a family video rental store? I'll be darned. Come on folks, we gotta pick up the pace. Not sure if I mentioned it, but we got a tight schedule to keep. What I'm saying is, we gotta stop lollygagging and get a move on.
Here we are, Thunder Bay Resort on Lac Foudesaire. Let's head down to the cabins, get checked in, and check out the lake. There it is. Lock food is there. Looks like we have time to get unloaded and get the boat in the water. Stay tuned for the next video where we enjoy the lake, head into the town of Land O'Lakes, and maybe even Eagle River. I don't know, we'll see. Thanks for viewing. Good day.